huku hapa kusaidiana na wabibili dogo lakini ni vizuri kusikujua kwamba in the midst of that we are uh, in those that difficult time where we have uh, Kenyans from the rural community being tortured and massacred really like we said yesterday the clear case, case of genocide has uh, uh, has happened within the rural Nyanza and parts of Nairobi parts of uh, Kericho and this is uh, one community that has been targeted singled out the issue of the cost of living affects all Kenyans affect one community and the issues of demonstration is not courage in enforcement force or something it's something that we must be very uh, scared about as a country the issue of uh, harassing the family of the former president Uhuru Kenyatta is yet another of the things that we must be concerned about and I want one in the quiz keeping quiet when one of your own is being uh, harassed intimidated sacrificed be really it's really something that cannot help us. And it, is, it speaks volumes about the community because uh, uh, when viewed by other communities. Other communities will not allow one of their own to be uh, sacrificed in the, many, in the way that uh, we allow to be sacrificed. And everything that is being said about him and the family is all rise. It's propaganda meant to isolate Kikuyus from other communities. And what is amazing is uh, when you come to communities like here, is the fear that has gripped the community. It's in a state of fear. Na hii serikali imeleta kuwoga hata ya kaibwele ya meleki kwa tikati ya watu. Kwa hivyo tumekua hapa kusaidia kushiriki katika mambo ya kanisa. Siyo jambo ambalo mimi ni kusika na ya kumara kwa mara. Lakini ni mefunja kuja na kumbia na kufanya kambia kenya kusema. Hata hapa wanasema uka ni kufiti. Simi ya moja kwa hivyo wao pia kwa biblia bado ijachoka chuka bado iko juu watoto wako nyumbani wale ambao walikuwa wanatakana kuwa shule nimesikia wakisema mtu akifukuzwa upiga simu kwa hali fulani ndio usaidiwe kwingine kwa kuna kupiga simu watoto wafukuzi wako na basa ya kutosha hii ujinga ya kusiyana siasa kuwa kufanya populist kwa sababu unasaidia wewe mwenyewe kwa mfuko wako ni wakati unaweza unaweza funza kama peka chuo kutupia pesa zako we need equitable sharing of resources when we say one man one vote, one shilling. It's because of these kids. So we, it's important that the government also hits, listens to the people. Na niseme hapa nito wapa karako. Hii serikali, ama hii watu wapa wako na miriam. Luto. Mchi wawe umefika, nisiku tu imebaki. Kama itakuja kabla ya 2027, hiyo ni mambo ya mwajasi mungu. Lakini wa Kenya wanagojia siku ya kupreka wa nyumbani. Na kuanzia leo, ni kwa kikisha pia wa mbibu nyumbani wakati wa kifiku. Na hiyo diyo jukumi yangu. Na hii mambo ya kuambia polisi wa fuate sisi, haina maana, we would speak because that is a light guarantee by the constitution. Whether they arrest us, whether they put bangi on us, whether they put guns on us, we are not going to shy away from speaking and saying what is right. And that is my right. It is my constitutional right to say what is I think is right. Kama utaki kusikisa we unaodoka. Lakini siyo kuja kutuletea through your policy. On Wednesday, tukona maadamano. Na hii maadamano itakuwa ya wiki mzima. Kwa hivyo wale ambao wanajitengeneza wakoje itakuwa sawasawa. Itakuwa maadamano sawasawa. And it is because it's a constitutional right. And I want to tell you, those who think we can negotiate, how do I negotiate my right given to me by God? That's not an, an issue we are negotiating about. First of all, respect that right. If you really want us to sit and, and talk. You have a right to food. Tubo si wewe ulinipatia ni kutuwa na mwenye smoke. Na kajua razima iwe kwe chakura. Kwa nini unene? We can't negotiate. There must be food for us before we start talking about many things. As a terror. Community. We are being used to fight one another. After they are done with the rules, we will be next. We are already suffering because those of our community who are employed are being laid off. Nakuna mwenye naongea. We have some six people who have made themselves our spokesman. Na wawo wanatuuza mchana. Alafu wanakuja kudanganya akina mama hapa kwa makanisa. Na wakitua pesa kwa padri, padri ya nafikiria hapo diomushu wa ukweli. Na hii lazima watu wajue. Hii shida tuliigia tukioba kwa kanisa na tukiadua na uhuru ya kwamba hapa ni shida na kwa sababu wengine wajaiona ile shida ni ile kubwa inakuja kikuyus
to get together. Defend your own. You cannot defend another person from outside your community. You have failed to defend your own. Musidagai na muachane na uhuru. Uhuru did his best. Try and beat his development record. Stop yeah, using him as a scapegoat. Shida ya chakula na mambo mengine wa Kenya haitaisha kwa sababu umesubua uhuru na mtoto wake nyumbani au mama wakina. Muachane na yeye. Na wale wachache ambao wamekubali kuwa katika mstari mbele kuhakikisha kwamba the community is not led by fools into the ditch and the uhuru is not being used for the community to be slaughtered in the coming days wakuje tu ugane tuende samari